Hello, I'm Doug, and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And today on Black Licorice Review number 16, we are looking at licorice pipes. So I found these in a little candy shop at the LaGuardia Airport on a recent visit to New York. And I popped in and saw these in the candy store, took a picture of the packaging, and didn't really open these or taste them or read the packaging here. But this says, it's uh, made in the Czech Republic and imported by Warrell Corporation, Campbell, Pennsylvania. And this recipe is corn syrup, wheat flour, molasses, licorice extract, artificial color, caramel, hmm. salt, sorbic acid, artificial flavor, which might be the anise, and then coconut fat. So that's a pretty standard recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and give it a taste. So I've cut, and I've got some licorice pipe stuff right here. And that, this is clever because they put little red beads or something, candies, balls, in the uh, pipe part to make it look like it's lit and on fire. So let's see how sticky and or licorice-y this is. So this is a pretty good pipe shape. I don't know how well you can see all that, but... I'm going to do a little smell. Oh, very promising. Very licorice-like. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start biting on it and destroying it. Oh, wow. Tough. Oh, wow. Really tough. Mmm. Good rich flavor. Weedy. Bready. Molasses adds a lot. Can't quite identify the licorice flavors. They're in there. I can't sort out who's, if anise or licorice extract is winning the fight. Oh, a little old maybe and tough. So that's a good flavor. It's almost chocolate notes to it. Mmm. It's just getting thicker as I go up the pipe. So harder to bite off. Very tough and chewy. Good bready and molasses flavor. Sweet, but not too sweet. And it's really mild licorice flavor. I think there is some licorice extract I'm detecting. It's a little bit of anise, uh, perhaps. Wow, my jaw is really getting a workout here. So good flavor, rich and complex without being strong in the licorice department. So that's pretty interesting. Might be some sort of chocolate note, root beer note. Something in the background is a little more complex than normal. And I like it. But it's not strong black licorice flavor as we would usually think of it. There is some extract, there is some anise but very low, far down. Coffee might be another note too. So some of those dark, bitter notes, chocolate, coffee, root beer, come to mind as the back, <laughs> the underlying base underneath all this, but far down, push far down and subtle. So this might be available online somewhere, and if so, I'll get it there. If not, pop into LaGuardia and look on the B Concourse for that candy shop. This will be pretty good stuff. So if you like the videos you've been seeing here on Black Licorice Tastings, then please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. 
If you click on the bell icon when you subscribe, you can get notified every time a new video is posted, which is Mondays and Thursdays in our case. So stay tuned for more Black Licorice Candy reviews and come black for more.